So my name is Lindsay Redding. Um, I work for a community-based tour operator named Andaman Discoveries along the Andaman coast in Thailand. How did the pandemic hit Southern Thailand, your region, uh, back in early March? We were like, okay, you know, are we gonna be able to keep our bookings in March or are they all gonna get canceled? And literally like within a one week time period, they all got canceled. So for us, it was, you know, what's gonna happen to us as a company? Is this gonna make us close for good? Or do we wanna come together and try and save our company, make a sacrifice for the next six months and try and reopen for the high season? So what is Endemen Discovery's connection to Bantele Nook? We've been working with them since after the 2004 tsunami, so a very, very long time. So we called Bang Hem because he's the community-based tourism leader in Bontele Nok, and we knew he'd be able to tell us all the goings on in Bontele Nok and how they're affected. And he actually said that the village is doing fine. We talked with him on Facebook and he sent us a picture with him and his family and they were like sitting on the floor and they just had this like massive feast of like seafood in front of them. And he's like, yeah, we're okay. And I'm like, wow, you really are. That, that looks delicious by the yeah. way. Yeah. <laughs> and I think that's just like a testament to their, their way of life, their simple way of life. Um, you know, they live off of the land, they live off of the natural resources. They have the mangroves in their community, which they call their supermarket. They can go out and still get crab and shrimp and fish and that's for feeding their families but it's also you know they can still continue to bring in some income with that we're very lucky we haven't seen a lot of cases um, and again i think that just comes down to the fact that you know we're in a more remote location um, it's we have a lot of nature around us um, you just naturally aren't coming in contact with a lot of people what were some of the challenges, in your opinion, that Bantelinok sort of got impacted by the pandemic? So for Bantelinok, I think for them, it's just the uncertainty. It's not knowing whether they're going to have that, you know, additional income coming in. They do the, the homestay programs for a supplemental source of income, but they also do it for a cultural exchange. They enjoy receiving guests. They enjoy learning about other cultures. Um, and that's something that they've expressed. It's not all about the money. Like they really genuinely enjoy having groups and guests come um, and interacting with them. One of the positives though, like you have an area that can provide safety, can provide social distancing, that can provide an immersive, you know, awesome experience for travelers yeah. looking for unique experiences, authentic experiences. Yeah, for sure. I mean, Bontele Nok automatically caters to all of the rules and regulations that come in place with this pandemic. It's just a small village, you're outdoors, everything is open. So you automatically sort of have that like safeguarding in place. You're going to locations that are untapped, they're untouched, they're off the beaten path. They literally are just hidden gems. I think that will be a trend that will come up and Bontele Nok will for sure be ready with all of their <laughs> beautiful open, things they have to offer, yeah. <laughs> open, open arms and uh, nice dinner spreads of local oh, food. Oh, so delicious. <laughs>